Hold On To Love was kind of like, I guess I was coming from like a, um, I don't know, I was kind of like coming from this like Springsteen kind of uh, era where I was really, really um, inspired by some of the records I was listening to of his and and uh, I, you know, sometimes we try to focus on like getting some, some good song titles to kind of inspire the lyrics. Some, it usually happens the opposite, but um, I took that melody to the guys um, and I said I had, you had this song title and um, Taylor spit out that first verse. I, I remember recording that, it was just like, uh, it changed it changed four formations a bunch of different times. It's one we really, really labored over in the studio and it wasn't, it didn't come out just as easy, but I think it's one of those ones that just builds and builds and builds and builds and by the end it's like epic, kind of like uh, Springsteen. I also hear like Dave Lindley's like slide, uh, uh, Jackson Brown kind of thing on the end. So I, I'm really happy with how that one turned out. And I think it's a great song. And one of my favorite ones to play right now. And just the fact that it's not like, you know, a couple chords over and over again. Like, like I said, it rises. Yeah. It's kind of like, and it just keeps on going. It's kind of hard to remember. Yeah, <laughs> Jay, parts, Jay had some cool yeah. parts on the on that bridge part. I think the um, that minor, F sharp minor to A for all you guitar players out there. <laughs> I don't know, it's really opened that song up. The, the bridge really opened that song it's up. It's very kind of ELO-ish in a way. Yeah. Yeah. A, lot of good, uh, yeah. a lot of good riffs oh, in yeah. there. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. This is how it feels. 